and get a nice second coat applied onto the breast here. Using the 50-50 uh, instead of 100% uh, um, Grumbacher Medium, I used 50-50 Grumbacher Turpentine and half the medium so that the uh, paint below isn't dissolved. The uh, Grumbacher medium just cuts right back down to the sealed surface if you're coming back for a second pass with it 100%. So it's important to And use the 50-50 mixture. That was a long pause, huh? And with each, you know, coat, these colors become more and more vibrant and I'm going to bring this black or dark dark brown right up to the head feathers and then I'll be able to come back and feather in with a a rounded uh, Klinsky sable, round sable like the Raphael 8408 and uh, I think it's 8408. 8408. And uh, add some nice uh, splits of feathers. You can see that this is red here, but I want the definition, so I'm going to come back and use uh, red to achieve a really convincing transition line. Okay, it's looking pretty darn nice. <clears throat> so a little bit earlier I um, was having some trouble with uh, brand new batteries that I bought. So I don't know how long these batteries are going to last, but uh, this uh, video might be a little choppy. Uh, I lost um, the most of the video that I had um, created when I put on a second coat of uh, color to each of these areas. The, the reddish orange, the orange red, and then the... Um, dark dark brown so uh, what I'm gonna do is let that those set up for a little bit longer and while that's happening going on I'm gonna mix up a little bit of the paint where I'm gonna need for the bill I'm gonna give the bill a nice blue coat of light blue coat of paint so I'm taking my cobalt blue deep 
and it's not going to be a whole lot of paint that's needed. And then I'm, I use a Gamblin Fast Matte in Titanium White and Ivory Black, primarily because these colors, when I use them straight um, for highlighting and shadowing, um, is usually the last thing that I do, and I would like for um, it to dry fast because in the end you never know sometimes you need to come back and do a little bit more white or a little, little bit more ivory black and um, so uh, I've levitated towards the uh, fast matte by Gamblin for those uh, colors so I've got my I'm looking for a medium blue here and I'm just gonna take a little bit of blue and mix it right into the white that I squeezed out and uh, that's pretty blue but I think it's going to work Palette knife clean. And uh, I'm going to use a laying nickel, a uh, quarter inch slant tip because it's got a nice point on it and it will uh, allow me to get right up to the edge of the face here on this first coat. Now, uh, I'm still using the 50-50 uh, even though um, this is the, the first coat going on. It's not going to matter for the bill um, to have, uh, to use um, just the 50-50. We don't worry about the mat uh, so much on the uh, bill because there's some shine that goes on anyway. And the slant tip allows me to get right up to the edge of the feathers. Bring up the overpaint of the red. And it's going on thin. <coughs> thin like I usually do. Uh, And it too is sucking a bit into the surface. Try to get an even coverage. pretty light right now but again that's only a, a single coating on the on the upper mandible
and if you cover up more of the blue than you wanted to don't worry about it just cover it up evenly on both sides and then we'll come I'll come back and and uh, add more blue as needed it's just kind of a, a back and forth process Getting the black into the crevices here of the lamelle. I'm going to let the rest of this dry for a little while longer and then I'll be able to come back and put a subsequent coat, second coat brush out and then I'm going to use a little bit of turpentine to clean it a little bit further again sparingly I use the turpentine it's too expensive to not bit more color on and we got some bill color on which we didn't have before and before I finish off um, this video I want to add oh, I think I'll use uh, I'm just going to use this blending brush. It's like a, it's not a specific blending brush, but uh, I'm going to take the majority of the paint off of the brush by touching it to a paper towel. And I'm just going to go around the eye and darken the eye ring. I find it best to approach it from the inside towards the outer edge. Just rotate the head to accommodate that. I'm not only working the paint into the eye ring area on the outer edge, I'm also working it into the deeper area 
in the eye. Come back and clean it up with a toothpick after things have set up. And it's going to take a few coats to get this covered as well. Big difference though between this eye and this one. First I apply it to the outer eye ring. sure I've gotten paint on the inside of the ring, eye ring. This really makes the eyes look lifelike once you've added the dark, um, I call it inlining. Onto the eye ring and inside of the eye ring. Once it's dried, I can clean off the glass eye again. The oil paint is not going to do any harm to this glass eye. I'll wipe the paint off my brush, dip it in the turpentine, and wipe the the dirt from or the paint from the brush onto my paper towel until it starts until it's clean. It's a good idea to keep track of which brush you're using for what. Like I don't remember that I'm using this uh, brush for applying dark paint around the eyes so that you know, I don't have to go and clean it all the way um, because when I come back then a little bit of the paint that's still on the brush because I didn't clean it all the way will still be um, there but it won't affect say if uh, it was black paint like I just used the dark paint and then the next time I use the same brush without cleaning it all the way with lacquer thinner um, would uh, result in the, um, the white paint taking on whatever paint is left in that brush. So it's important to clean your brushes um, and keep track of what you're using for what and that can save you a little bit of cleanup uh, if you choose accordingly. So I'm going to let this all set up for another few hours. If it's when it's dry to my touch I can go back and add another coat and uh, of everything. And you can see Remember I said, you know, be careful about what you touch onto the bill because it, it takes a while to cover it up. This is where I touched with the red and, and that's fine. It's just that it's going to take a few coats before that will always stay covered. 
it might even bleed a little bit for the first few coats bleed through the blue the light blue so um, but that's normal and uh, once once the blue is dried then I can come back and I can add some of the the black that rides up onto the upper mandibill and uh, around the nostrils and onto the nail and uh, front edge of the bill. But for now, we gotta let things set up.